Hey guys and welcome back to Makeup by Ewan and today in this video I haven't got any makeup on and to be honest I'm not planning on doing any makeup because today we have I spent X because I actually don't know how much money I'm going to spend at this point on makeup on myself for Christmas which I'm pretty sure all this stuff is going to be makeup but obviously I haven't bought any of it yet so I'm not too sure and just a quick note here, like this video and um, subscribe because it always helps me and I've got some really good fun and fresh video ideas coming up after this one but let me just give you a bit of a rundown for the video, it's going to be like um, me, I'll like kind of like vlog me buying it, I'll just like run through what I'm buying and then when I get it in like three or four days time I'll actually like show it all do a little haul because I didn't I mainly got money for Christmas and this is like the main reason I got money because I wanted to buy like my own makeup if you know what I mean I guess I'll see you in the next vlog clips of me actually buying it so peace <sighs> and make sure to follow me on Instagram um at I W A N I E D S H A W you and Redshaw <laughs> So guys, I'm right now on the Debenhams website and I've found something I want to buy. And it is the Too Faced Born This Way Liquid Foundation because I love my, I love the way my Tarte one looks. But I bought the matte one and it's obviously more for dry skin, uh, more for oily skin. And I don't have oily skin, like I actually have quite um, dry skin. And I always hear about, you know, James Charles and that like raving about the Too Faced one. So I'm deciding to pick that up because that is made for like people with dry skin. So I'm hoping that's going to work better for me. And I've got it in the shade Pearl, which I feel like so basic. Like I feel like I see so many people with the shade Pearl. But it's £29 and I need to order it like ASAP. So the next thing, like the next and last thing I'm picking up from Debenhams is the MAC Cosmetics Prep and Prime Fix Plus Gold Light Shimmer. Because... And another thing, this is also something that James Charles kind of doesn't recommend, but he, like, uses it a lot in his videos. Because I need a new set and spray because I don't have one. And this one, I know James says it's good, so I'm just going to pick it up. And it's got the gold shimmer in it, so hopefully it'll give a bit of life to my face. This is it. You've all probably seen it before. It's just supposed to have some, like, gold little bits in it. So then it can, like, spray, like give a bit of shine to your face. It's, like, £19. Hey, guys, I'm back, and I'm about to make, like, quite... Well, I'm about to make, like, a big purchase from Beauty Bay because that's what I'm going to spend the rest of my money on. And I've decided... I've decided on, I think, six things I'm getting from here, which will make a nice haul at the end of the video, which I don't know if I said I was going to do that, but I am going to do it. So, um, I'll just show you what I'm getting. First, most expensive thing I'm getting is the Anastasia Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette, and actually just look how pretty that is. Like, I was torn up between the Norvina Modern Renaissance and the Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palettes, but this one like, really blew me away, especially with, like, the golden pinky in those, shim those three shimmer shades there. And some of the looks, like, let me just get some of the looks up, like, they are so pretty. And I was like, I'm going to have to cop this one. So the next thing I'm pushing is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Lip, Lip Scrubs. And in the, one, in the taste, salted caramel, because pumpkin pie just ain't my thing. French toast is disgusting. And eggnog, ew, no, like, salted caramel is the only one that really, like, stands out to me and the reason i'm buying this one is because it's like literally the only jsc one left and i need a lip scrub because my lips get super crusty so another thing i'm purchasing is the makeup revolution renaissance flick which is self-explanatory it's just a liner and then another thing i'm getting is wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder in this shade Blossom Glow because these are like raved about a lot and incredibly cheap and people say they're really pigmented 
obviously soft glam, JFC, uh, lip scrub. And then another thing I'm getting is a Makeup Revolution Pearl Lights Loose Highlighter in the shade True Gold. These are also incredibly cheap and you get like a massive tub. And one of my friends recommended this. They said like it's really pigmented and everything but there's no real reviews for it so hoping it's not. Um, but you can't really go wrong for £3.50. And then the last thing I'm getting is a makeup, another Makeup Revolution thing, which is the Nudes Collection Gloss in the shade Boudoir, which is also 45 grams. That seems like a lot. Maybe that's like the total weight, which is £3, which then comes out as £70. Okay, so I'm just about to check out for this, and I should actually be able to film the next thing of the video next scene of the video because this is the last thing I'm buying tomorrow because I've got both of them down as next day delivery even though it's nine o'clock because Debenhams actually I just got it in on time with Debenhams because their next day delivery catchment like finishes at nine o'clock but Beauty Bay like pulls through and like you can order at 11 o'clock at night and it'll still come next day so yeah I guess I'll see you in the morning when hopefully both of my things have arrived and I'll see you in the next clip, I guess. Guys, I'm back and it is now the next day. It's now the 28th of December. And to you guys, it's only been like one second. But to me, it's been a whole 24, no, like 14, 16 hours. So I've decided to do this haul in price order. So the most expensive thing will be first and then the least expensive thing will be last. The most expensive thing I got was the Anastasia Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. And can I just say, I've never like bought an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette before, but the the actual texture on here is actually like lovely. This is what the inside of it looks like, and this. If you didn't see, is the Soft Glam Palette. This is what the actual edge, this is what the top of it feels, and obviously you can see. You can see how the actual Soft Glam writing is like deeper in it than the velvet, which really like shows it's high quality. A well known thing is that the Anastasia palettes come with a eyeshadow brush and this eyeshadow brush is double sided and it is actually highly raved about but I can't comment if it's good or not because I haven't used it yet. So the next most expensive thing I got was the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I did explain how my Tarte one was just not really cutting it for me anymore like it's too dry on my skin especially in the winter because I have dry skin anyway but especially in the winter it's way too dry and if you missed it in the actual kind of me buying it bit I got it in the shade pearl and it is kind of a tad bit too dark for me but I kind of like it because it gives me a bit of a tan and I know people will be like oh but it's bit too dark for you but I kind of like the way it gives it's only a slight bit too dark for me and I kind of like the way it gives a nice tan and it and I put it on my skin and it looked way too dark but then obviously when you blend it in it does not look as dark as it looks at first and this packaging is like it just feels like such luxury packaging third most expensive thing was the max was the mac fix plus in gold light and I've never owned Mac Fix Plus and I and I have heard mixed reviews on it but I thought because James Charles likes it and he also uses a lot of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I thought I'm just gonna pick it up and that what it looks like it's got like I don't know if it'll pick it up but it has got a shimmer in it can you see the light reflecting on it like that It's got this like beautiful like shimmer in it so I'm hoping this will like really like kind of brighten my face. Fourth item is the Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Lip Scrub in the 2018 Holiday Collection in the 
scent slash taste salted caramel like that and I haven't actually put this on my lips yet but I smelled it and it smells actually like delicious and I was actually really surprised when I pulled this out because I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than this because I think it's just maybe the way the Beauty Bay website makes it look but it looks incredibly small but if you're if you're considering buying one and you think it looks too small it's actually like quite big and can I just say because obviously I explained in the kind of vlog part of me buying it the scents were quite like kind of disgusting to me so I decided to pick up the solid camera one because that was the only one that really like kind of said to me oh it's not really a disgusting scent and oh my god I've never like I think I kind of expected it to like not smell too great because it's like literally just sugar with a scent in it but oh my god it smells delicious like and I can't wait to put this on my lips now we have the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick which is just an eyeliner and this is the first eyeliner I've ever used because um slash ever bought because um I've never like really wanted an eyeliner before like I've never really had a need for it but like I want it just in case like I see a look on Instagram that I want to recreate that needs an eyeliner because I see like quite a few looks like using eyeliners and I'm pretty sure both the eyeshadow looks on the um soft glam page on beauty bay they both the looks that they created with it used a winged eyeliner so i was like i'm kind of just gonna pick one up it comes in like fancy packaging i'm not too sure how i'm supposed to get this out i'm just gonna low-key ruin the packaging because i don't know how to get it out any other way so that is the tip So by the looks of things, this is quite per um, quite bold and it didn't apply streaky so that is always a plus and it was only like £5 I think. The next thing I got was this Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Blossom Glow. And the reason I got this was because quite a few um, YouTubers like rave about these like and it was literally £2.75 no £3.75 I think so it's really affordable and people say it's quite blinding that's just with one swatch that's what it looks like on the back of my hand the next thing I got was this another highlighter from Makeup Revolution in the shade True Gold and this is off their Pearl Lights collection I'm guessing um it's a loose highlighter because but I was actually quite surprised because in the um in the photo it looks a lot bigger like it looks like about that size compared to what it is but I guess you still get quite a lot of product for the £3.50 you're paying let's just have a look at what it's like I don't know actually how you use these like I'm guessing you just pour it into here and then swatch it I'm guessing and it's like supposed to be just like a light gold that's it there And, but now it's like stuck in there so it's like quite annoying what do I even do that I'm just, I'm just gonna have to put it on the floor <laughs> my, my floor's gonna be all like sparkling now the next and final thing I got was a three pound lip gloss from again makeup revolution and this I just wanted a cheap gloss because I don't have a gloss like if it does the job then it does the job See what it smells like first it actually has a scent like not like a chemical smell it like it's be it's being flavored and it's kind of like you know that like sweet vanilla -y scent that most things are that's basically what it is the shade boudoir on the beauty bay website and i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like a nude a nude pink but it's like quite like it's there I kind of expected it to be a bit more like dull and less opaque but it's really opaque but I guess you can't really complain about that can you so guys that is the end of this video um and I just wanted to say at the end that 
um, I know in total I spent I think £123 on this haul and to some people that might not seem like a lot, to some people that might seem like way too much to spend on makeup but makeup is something I enjoy doing personally so to me like the quality of what I got is justifies that money that I spent but and if you don't agree with that £123 then I don't really blame you it's a lot of money but I knew I wanted to buy this like I didn't just buy it out of nowhere like I planned to buy this stuff but I just wanted to say that I'm so grateful for the money I have the makeup I just bought with the money that I had and I just wanted to say that I'm not trying to brag or anything and if you cannot afford these items then that is not a bad thing you know expensive makeup does not make you any better than anybody else next week's video is actually quite an exciting video i have a video planned that should be quite good fun and fresh so subscribe for that turn those post notifications on even though they don't work half the time but i guess i will see you in the next one when i'm actually doing makeup and follow me on instagram do all those things like so i'll say it again because because i'm lame and i don't have anything else to say i hope you enjoyed this one i'll see you in the next one Bye.